The Discovered Mysteries of the Undiscovered. Join me as we search for truth behind the unexplained, the paranormal, and things that are just fucking weird, man. What is that? I must know. Flying saucers from a distant planet. A government conspiracy. Yeah, the scientists. Another fucking race of people to worry about. Stories of little green men have frightened the fuck. Pepe, why are you so damn close to me, man? It's like you're trying to be stupid. Stories of little green men have frightened the public for decades. Although it is unclear why people are afraid of aliens, they are the size of children. You can kick them. Don't act like you haven't thought about kicking a child before. I've seen your children. Little maniacs. Our investigation has brought us to Roswell, New Mexico. The most boring place in the United States. Where a local farmer has a story that will blow your fucking mind into another galaxy. Please tell us what you experienced in the summer of 1947. Boy, do I got a story to tell you. It'll make your mama go blind as a bat. It was late. I just got done putting my sheep away. Then I heard what sounded like thunder ripping through the sky. I looked up. And there it is! A fucking UFO, baby! I don't know who was flying that thing, but they were driving like assholes. It crashed right into my goddamn farm, killed about 30 sheep. I got plenty of sheep. Sheep are easy to fix. I'll tell you, there was shit everywhere. Sheep guts, F-U-O parts. What about aliens? Did you see any aliens? Fuck, yes I did. They were weird looking, man. They had big eyes and weak arms. And these aliens, they were coming out of the crash, coming towards me. One touched my leg and I kicked it. Yes, that is exactly what I would have done. Good job. Well, the army showed up, took my spaceship, took my aliens, and told me not to tell anybody about it or they'd take my farm away. Goddamn aliens, they're ruining everything. Send them back to Mars. Sheep guts, UFO wreckage, and government lies. We are in quite the pickle. It is impossible for the government to lie to us. That's illegal. They could get into trouble. Besides, if they found proof of beings from another planet, I'm sure they would tell us right away. They always have our best interest in mind. Las Vegas, Nevada. A local scientist who wishes to remain anonymous has come forward with a claim that the United States government has been hiding UFO technology. And he's been in on it. Yeah, I'm a scientist. Work for the United States government. Area 51. Back engineer alien technology. Boom. 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 How did you acquire this job? Well, studied jet propulsion systems. Built a rocket in my backyard that broke the sound barrier. Fumes killed a bunch of neighboring dogs. Then the United States government called me up. Said, hey, you want to work with aliens? And I was like, you son of a bitch. I'm in. What did you see at Area 51? Oh, they got a whole bunch of shit. They got at least seven different UFOs. I got to fly one of them once. Then the laser incident happened. They don't let me fly anymore. Can we replicate their technology? Well, that's why I'm there, man. Imagine in the near future, everyone having a device in their hands that can connect to anyone at any time. Like an information superhighway? Yeah. Free information for everybody? Mm-hmm. That sounds like witchcraft. Wait a second, I know your voice. Oh! Dr. Minnie Von Neustra, why are you hiding God. in the shadows? God damn it, Wolfgang, now I need to get another job. Not only does the government lie to us, but science also lies. 
If the government and science is lying to us about aliens, then what else are they lying to us about? Is the Earth flat? Was JFK murdered by the CIA? Can we eat raw cookie dough? Enough is enough. I will go to Area 51 and demand they give me answers. All right. Here I am at the border of Area 51. Just over that hill is the military base where they lie to us about aliens. The sign says the use of deadly force will keep us at bay. <laughs> but little do they know that my determination to solve a mystery is the deadliest force on this earth. Okay, Penny, do you see any guards around? I don't think they're watching us. Very poor security. I'll just, I'll take one step over the sign. They saw us. Oh, here they come, Penny. They're coming to arrest us. I need you to be honest with me. Are you here? Hands up! Okay, freeze! Penny made me do it. On your knees! He made me do it. Do this cameraman. <laughs> There are no such things as aliens, and the government isn't hiding any technology. What crashed in Roswell, New Mexico in 1947 was a weather balloon. This is the statement I have agreed to give in order to keep my freedom in television show. This is all bullshit, Pepe. The government is lying to us about aliens. Do not trust the government. Anxiety, anxiety, we're about to break into a military base. Pepe, do you have a boner yet? I do. <laughs> okay. Not around my farm, damn it. Fucking up everything. How did you acquire this job? Oh, uh, well, I was building Jeff. <laughs> you know how many turtles have died for this turtle neck? <laughs> that shit was everywhere. UFO parts. All over. All over. It was fucking amazing. <laughs> then the United States government <laughs> built a jump propulsion system in my backyard. Fuck. <laughs> then the laser incident happened. They don't let me fly anymore. <laughs> and then I lost that fucking farm too because drugs, women, and gambling. And then finally at Barm Bar Farm. <laughs> Fucking farms. Fucking farms are gonna be the death of me. <laughs> Said, are you ready, Pepe? Or do I ship you back to the weird cantina I found you in? Fuckers everywhere. Mob bosses. Eating macaroni and cheese. <laughs> it's not too bad.